Tonight, students, families celebrating at MSU's graduation ceremony. The commencement happening at Denver Coliseum as pro-Palestinian protesters are still camped out on the university's campus. Fox 31's Gabby Easterwood live at the event where there haven't been any interruptions so far. Right, Gabby? Yeah, that's right, Jeremy. You can see behind me that the commencement has since wrapped up. And like you said, though, there have been no protesters here like we have seen at other college graduations across the country. And the students that we spoke with today say that that was their hope, that the focus remained on them and their accomplishments. A day to remember for the 2100 MSU graduates. It's been a blessing in so many ways. This exciting day for these graduates happening while this ongoing protest happens on their campus. Free, free Palestine! Though not overshadowing today's celebration. The world never stops moving and things don't ever stop happening. And so I think although we are all like citizens of a global world, it's really important to take a minute and just be here for right now. Gabriel Trujillo's MSU's President Award winner's journey to graduation is commendable. His mother passed away of cancer just two years ago. Uh, before she passed away, I promised her that, that, that I would graduate and that I would continue on my education and that's exactly what I'm, what I'm doing. And so it's very much like, very heartwarming. Back on campus, Trujillo appreciates the demonstrator's passion and says the students there are part of what makes up the fabric of Metro. That idea of change makers, of what MC Denver brings, and what MC Denver um, exemplifies is, is change makers and, and, and pushing those boundaries and, and pushing um, to, to really, one, make that change and, and two, to do whatever we have in our power to, to, to not only um, empower others, but to also get to, to also raise concerns to a lot of the issues going on. That fabric of Metro, an exciting thought for these graduates as they take the next step towards their future. Just remember, you are all roadrunners and you have got this. Danielle Shucker. Definitely an exciting day for these road runners. And a fun fact, the youngest graduate here today was 18 years old, and the oldest one was 65. Congratulations to all of those graduates. Live at the Denver Coliseum, Gabby Easterwood, Fox 31. Yeah, impressive for sure. I